Speaking of pitching, let's pitch to first floor meteorologist <laughs> Felicia Woody. Yeah, that's one of those things where it's got to be slick out there running after the ball if it's raining. So you kind of hope the rain stays away for the game. It does, and props to any of those soccer players because they run that whole oh entire – and the refs too. <laughs> Every time I watch a soccer game, I'm like, that's a lot of running. It really is. <laughs> and, and most of the guys – they'll play most of the game, so it's like – Exactly. <laughs> With the rules of it, I, my husband used to be a soccer player, and it's it's like, uh, that's a lot of running. I never have understood when the game ends. That business about <laughs> extra time. I, what? It, it's different than, you know, because that's what they call football. We have another version of football. Right. But right now we are still discussing what's going to happen with the weather because we want dry weather for any of those outdoor events going on, including the Riverhounds game and the concerts. And right now it's dry, so if you do need to do any running outside right now, it is pretty decent. And temperatures are looking very nice. So we're actually in the 50s along the IED corridor, but 60s everywhere else. It is a nice morning, but it's not going to be a nice ending to the day. Dew points are at least in the 50s and low 60s. When they're in this range, it's comfortable, it's bearable, it's not overly humid, but we're going to see these numbers move up heading into the afternoon, so that's where it starts to get kind of sticky outside. So highs today are placed in the mid 80s. Akershire Stadium is, of course, quiet for right now, but Ed Sheeran is going to be rocking the house. Temperatures are in the mid 80s. Unfortunately, there is a chance for some storms while he's performing and there could be some lightning. So depending on the protocols and how they call it at Akershire Stadium, the concert may have to get delayed. Well, let's hope we can keep the storms away. The storm chances are isolated, but of course that does include Pittsburgh. Tomorrow, though, those scattered showers and storms are going to continue, so it is looking pretty wet here for our weekend. We're now pushing into our future cast and watch for these storms moving in from the west. This is now about 8 or 9 o'clock. We're in the midst of these concerts going on. Heavy downpours could be likely around the area, and there could be some lightning. So moving into tomorrow morning, we're still expected to have some activity on the radar with those heavy downpours and possible lightning. And then we move into the afternoon, still not letting up on those thunderstorms. It's going to be downpouring for most of the day tomorrow. It's definitely looking like the wettest day. So anything you were going to do outside tomorrow, I would highly suggest you do it now while it's dry because the rain's not going to move in until this evening. So Monday, it looks like skies dry out. We get that good quench for our lawns, and then we move into Tuesday and Wednesday being relatively dry. But any storms this weekend could have some gusty winds, lightning, and the possibility of some small hail. It could potentially be low and severe. We are on a one out of five on the severe weather scale for the weekend. Our muggy meter is placed in, in the low range, the more comfortable range. That's where we like it, but it'll skyrocket back towards the end of the week, and that's because more rain chances are expected to move in. So we're in the upper 70s tomorrow, but then we move up into Wednesday's forecast in the upper 80s. That is looking like the toastiest day of the next several days. So today will be warm, mid 80s, increasing humidity, also leading up to those storms in the evening. Tonight, we're going to have those scattered showers and thunderstorms leading into tomorrow's forecast. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday look dry with the 80s, and then we're back to more rain chances and some muggy conditions Thursday and Friday.